ARDX is currently selling at the price of $1.08 at the time of this recording. ARDX is a stock of a company called Ardelix Incorporated. Ardelix Incorporated is a biopharmaceutical company which develops and sells medicines for the treatment of kidney and cardiorenal diseases in the United States and internationally. Ardelix is dedicated to improving the lives of patients by developing and commercializing first-in-class targeted therapies that advance patient care. Due to the company's different discovery models, Ardelix scientists have identified new biological mechanisms and pathways that have enabled us to develop a pipeline of drug candidates, designed to better manage complications related to kidney and cardiorenal diseases with the goal of improving outcomes for this large population of underserved patients. The company's lead product candidate is Tenopanor. Tenopanor is a first-in-class targeted small molecule therapy in development for the control of serum phosphorus in adult patients with chronic kidney disease CKD, on dialysis. The company believes that, if approved, Tenopanor could become a foundational therapy for all patients on dialysis who suffer from hyperphosphatemia. A condition of elevated levels of phosphate in the blood, completely changing the treatment paradigm and making effective and consistent phosphate control possible. Tenomenor has completed phase 3 clinical trials for the treatment of patients with irritable bowel syndrome with constipation, as well as in phase 3 clinical trials for the treatment of hyperphosphatemia in end-stage renal disease patients on dialysis. It's also developing earlier stage candidates that further leverage the discovery capabilities and deep understanding of transport mechanisms inside the human body, targeting specific pharmacologic pathways. Another drug that the company is working on is RDX-013, which is a program focused on developing drug candidates for the treatment of hyperkalemia, a condition resulting from elevated levels of potassium in the blood, and additional preclinical projects across other indications are advancing. RDX-013 is in phase 2 clinical trials for the treatment of patients with hyperkalemia. The company's latest work is RDX-020, which is a small molecule program for the treatment of metabolic acidosis. The company was formerly known as Netarex Incorporated and changed its name to Artelex Incorporated in June 2008. Artelex Incorporated was incorporated back in 2007 and is headquartered in Fremont, California. Alright, that's all the information about the company. Yes, I know, quite a mouthful. So now let's move on to the statistics in the stock market. ARDX is currently selling at the price of $1.08 at the time of this recording. According to Simply Wall Street, the stock has a good valuation because it is selling far below the estimated fair value, that is, $60.27. If you buy the stock at this price currently, you can exit the deal at a high forecast of just $2, and if you talk about the annual returns of the company, then ARDX underperformed the US biotech industry, which returned 12.5% over the past year, and it also underperformed the US market, which returned 27.6% over the past year. If you talk about the price volatility of the stock, then ARDX is considered more volatile than 90% of US stocks over the past three months, typically moving at plus or minus 23% per week, and its weekly volatility has increased from 13% to 23% over the past year. The price to earnings ratio of the company is not looking pretty good with the value of negative 0.9 times, and that's because the company is currently unprofitable. However, in terms of the price to book ratio, then things are pretty good, according to Simply Wall Street. The PB ratio of the stock is 0.9 times, which is a good value compared to the US biotech industry average that is 2.9 times. The company is forecasted to remain unprofitable in the span of the next three years. However, the revenue of the company is expected to grow 72.6% per year, which is much faster than the US market that is 9.9% per year. Now if you look at the past performances of the company, then the company underperformed with a value of 1.6% in the span of the last 5 years. ARDX has had a sufficient cash runaway for more than a year based on its current free cash flow. ARDX's short-term assets, which are $186.5 million, far exceed its short-term liabilities of $57.8 million, and its short-term assets also exceed its long-term liabilities, which are $29.6 million. The total market cap of the company turns out to be $111.369 million, and the current outstanding shares of the company are $103.12 million. Overall, we have no position in any of the companies mentioned. This video is general in nature. It does not constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any stock, and we do not take account of your objectives or your financial situation. We aim to bring you long-term focused analysis driven by fundamental data. Well guys, that's it for today. We hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.